Welcome back to Thy and I Play Xenoblade Chronicles 3. On the last episode, we promised Romeo that we would help get his Juliet by finding him a very shiny rock. On this episode, everyone has changed yet again. We maxed out all of our skills and class arts at some point in the past, so we are back down to level 1 with a bunch of different things. Mio's got a hat, Noah's got some shoulder pads, uh, Mio, not Mio, Senna found a coat. That's basically all that happened. On this episode, this will probably be, probably be, probably be the last episode full of maybe side quests. It all, no snacks. It all depends. It really all depends on how, oh my god, what happened? Why? Where did all of these things come from? No! White fog on air, it's, that's a something else. A novel book, The Blades... Oh my goodness gracious, I wanted to do something else, not all of these side quests. When did they come? I wanted to do Guernica Vandom. Alright, here's the plan. We'll talk about Blades, and then we'll do the Guernica Vandom quest, because... Oh my gosh, side quests, oh my gosh. Everyone, a moment of your time? Yeah, Blades. Apparently, the Lost Numbers can use all different kinds of Blades, just like us. Monica did say that the city's people were originally one of a kind with... Of one kind. Oh my gosh, it's way too early for this. They were they were the Ouroboros people. They've got the Ouroboros eyes, so they could do the Ouroboros things, like change clothes. Normal people in Agnes and Keves can't just change their clothes on a whim. It's an it's it's, it's a very rather unique skill set, I must say. So you'd say that explains the similarity with us. Yeah, okay, I could see that. Even so, though, it's not many people that can master fighting with multiple blade forms. It seems. If you don't commit, your form's gonna be sloppy and you'll get bad habits. I think I'll always prefer using what I'm good at. It's that old philosophy of having so many skills, but you'll need to practice every one of them, and it's just like, oh, well, some will fall to the wayside. Just stick with guns. It's mar, mar better. It's mar better. It's much, much better than a sword, typically speaking. <laughs> It's only it's mere minutes into into this video and I'm already losing my grasp on language. Oh my goodness. No I like to get at least a basic understanding of all of them. Nothing beats flexibility on the battlefield Just make sure that nothing goes rusty tie on Me, I'm a power girl through and through What the sparks a power girl? You're not puffy enough for that. That's a different entirely thing <sighs> Never mind. I got your drift it's important to remember, though, even though we have Ouroboros powers, it's still a matter of effort to achieve proficiency. That's very true. We've all, we've, we have, coincidentally, just reset all of our proficiency. So, we're going to have to work really hard, and I hope Fiona will help with that, because uh, increased chain attack damage is probably for the best. Guernica Vandom, let, let's let the actual people do the talking, because I, I, oh my boy, oh boy. Let's have a little huddle up. Oh, you're not going to talk on this part, huh? Alright, fine. I can cover this as well, you deficient pixels. We've been through a lot since we settled on getting to the city, huh? But we all made it through in one piece. And that's something to be thankful for. Yeah. We're seeing a world that we've never known before. Experiencing it for the first time. I just wish I could have left Guernica know that, too. If it wasn't for him, we'd have been cut down right where we stood. Yeah, or maybe ended up blindly killing each other in battle like every other schmuck. I'm glad it didn't come to that. Yeah, think about it though. What the old man gave us, it was immense. But in the end, we won't know a flippin' thing about the guy, will we? Kinda sucks. I mean, it's pretty late in the day, but I really want to know more about him. I wonder what his motive was for giving us this power. No. In fact, I think we have a duty to find out. Because like him, we stand together with the people of the city. Seems all the city folk thought he was a pretty awesome guy, huh? Especially Monica. He was a really special person for her, right? Indeed. Monica was referring to him as dad, even. It's a city custom. That's what they call the person who raises them. Perhaps we could ask Monica about Guernica. Find out what he really thought. After all, we're carrying his dreams now. Fighting to make them real. Vandom's heir. Oh my goodness gracious. A hero quest. Let's get out of this talky talk. I don't like the talky talk. But before that though, we need to clean our clothes because it's been a while. There we go. Looking a bit uh 
manky, as some people might put it. Uh, gem crafting, maybe in the future. Between episodes, I might do a bunch of gem crafting, maybe. It, where are we going? It might depend entirely upon how many resources I have to find. Why is it so far down? Where is it? Oh, it's probably in the war room. Yeah, in the war room. Gotcha. Because I'm, I'm like looking down there. It's like, we can't get down there. There's nothing but a void. We need to find Monica. And of course, Monica would be in the war room because that's always where Monica is. Monica, can we talk? What's up? Sounds ominous. We were hoping we could ask you about someone. Guernica, in fact. About Dad? Everyone in the city speaks so highly of him. But we still don't know a whole lot about him. I think we owe him that much. All right. Where do you want to start? You were brought up by him, right? So... We thought you'd probably understand him better than anyone else. Ha! I wish that were the case. The Guernica Van Damme that I knew was a man that I always looked up to. He was always busy keeping the city together or fighting out on the front line. Always distant. After I chose a military life, he didn't even talk to me like a parent anymore. You mean... You weren't on very good terms. I got to know the man, I think. But not the father. I just thought that we'd have more time together. Huh. Hey, boss. You're making the kids feel guilty. Ah, sorry. I don't blame you guys for any of this. Dad. Guernica died in the line of duty, trying to accomplish his aim. But that's not all. He died fighting for what he believed in, and he saw it through. Of that much, I'm sure. For what he believed in? Well, about that, there still might be a bit of unfinished business there. He sure was adamant about getting stuff home to people. Yeah, for certain. Sorry, what do you mean exactly? Personal effects from the deceased. Things that family and friends can remember them by. We don't leave any other mark behind that says we were here, you see? If there are people waiting for you, then you just want to leave something behind, whatever it may be. I was in the rear guard. I know just how dangerous that battlefield was. <laughs> Maybe it's better not to dwell on that. Hmm. But there are personal items that have been left behind, though, right? Huh? Maybe you'd let us do something to help out with that. It must be really painful for the people who never got the chance for closure. Yeah, right? I'm starting to get a handle on how they see things in the city. Sort of. But if there's something we can do about it, I want to try to help. I appreciate the sentiment, guys. But why go to all this trouble? Well, we'll get some closure from doing this too. We were losing friends every day. And before we became Uroboros, some of us used to be offseers. Guernica went to all that trouble for others. And when it happened, he was thinking of everyone waiting for him in the city. So I'd like to help his voice find its way. Hmm. Much appreciated. Speaking personally, good on you. Travis, could you pull up the tactical register? Roger that. Give me a moment. There's the data. We've got a list of deceased soldiers and the likely locations where they fell. Could you check out the waypoints around Alfeso Valley? That's some impressive precision. Kind of you to notice. See, that's the thing about us lost numbers. We just don't know when to quit. <laughs> okay, guys. It's up to you now. When you're done, could you meet me at the Remembrance Stones? Got it. You have my word. 
And so we have offered and so we shall do. We have to find the personal effects of various peoples. And we will succeed post haste to the Etia region. Gruff Lava Camp. Good old fashioned Gruff Lava. Oh my gosh, look at these Levnesses. Can we just like not... Can we just like sneak by all of these? Are they gonna... No, they are. Oh well, I suppose we could focus down and try and show off some of our new uh, sets. Mio is the Yumsmith. I do believe that's what it's called. Um, that's Riku and Manana's thingamabobber. Uh, more people. Wow, when did we get up to five opponents? I mean, I suppose it doesn't really matter. Oh, that's why, because there's a bunch of people stuck behind the thing. Uh, we are like 10 levels above these people. We're, chances are, not gonna topple. Topple? Who tares? Oh, why did Mio go down? Probably because everyone is very weak, and no one has enough skill to deal with five opponents at the same time. We'll let the auto battle take care of this. Are we focusing on the right person? Either way, Mio can uh, do boosted damage from the front. We've got that side break, which is important for uh, fusion combo art thingamabobs. That's rather a thing that happens. I think Tyon and Uni both have break arts. Whether or not anyone else has days, uh, maybe someone might have a days art. I'm not entirely sure about that. But we do need to. Hmm. We do need to fight these. Um, Levnesses, that's the word. We do have to fight them because we do need parts, so we will get them. Whether or not they're going to be the right quality, because I know for the one quest in Colony 30, no, don't do the stupid chain attack. That's not... That's not necessary. Uh, it'll be fine. Okay, so someone does have a Days Art, which is good for the long term. Or, well, at the very least, it boosts our survivability. Where is the medic? Oh, I'm literally standing right in front of him. Break it. There. Okay, that's the fighting. Everyone else has their own things as well. It's like, uh, tie on thaumaturge, oh, yaddy, yada yada yada. You can, you can see basically who they are based on their outfits. They fought so close to where we used to live. I'll get this back to where it belongs. Use belongings. Very good. And on the, uh, I suppose I should maybe mention it, on the topic of the outfits, um, you do have the option to change the, uh, the the clothing, the aesthetics of your characters. You can go into the menu and change that super quickly. I am not going to be doing that because if you're unfamiliar with, like, the mechanics of the moveset, like, if you, if you, if having the option to like look at a glance at just what a person's wearing and be like oh they're that character that class they're they're gonna be able to do x y and z right i feel like that is a much better option to have than being like oh i i have an entire team full of apples coats or whatever and they'll be like oh so you're stupid it's like no no it's just aesthetics i just like the look of it i just think they're neat Oh, I bet it's over there, because that one looks slightly different. So we probably have to beat more people. Oh, uh, hopefully we don't have to fight all of them. But that's definitely... Don't go get it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we got that that quickly. There's something left to take back. Good. I'll make sure it gets the people who need it. Zuo's belongings. Is that all of them? No, we probably have to do Guernica himself. So where is this last bit? Where, oh where... Because they do look slightly different on the overworld, the things that have uh, the mark, like, the quest items. They're, like, slightly fatter, f fatter, well, I suppose, maybe, slightly flatter, like they're closer to the ground than anything else. Um, and slightly more like a vibrant purple, like it's more saturated for the color. No, shut up. All right, whatever. I'll just skip. I'll just skip this fight and skip the wandering around until I find the, the next thing. We can just get to that really quick. It's unimportant. All these battles are child's play. Found it. These landed so far away. 
We'll get your things back to the city, to the people waiting for you. He was belongings. And that's all of them. Alright, back to Sword March. That was a rather simple, if somewhat small amount of tedious side quests, but it doesn't matter. Back to the city. Sword March? The city. Either way, it's somewhere. We've brought their belongings. Thanks. Means a lot. Can you lay them out here? Now you mention it, didn't Monica put an eye patch here? Yeah, that was Guernica's. What does it mean exactly? Placing people's belongings here? Uh, how can I explain it? Um, you guys have off seeing, right? I guess this is our version of that. Off seeing for city folk? Hmm. Hmm. You got here first. Boss, we were waiting for you. Brother, you. Zuo. You made it back. He was. You always kept such good care of this. Now look at it. I just wish that we could have talked more. But you're home now. Thanks to you, these people got a chance to say farewell to their loved ones. And I got to fulfill Dad's dying wish. Thank you. You're finally home. <laughs> These people, they weren't just sacrifices. They've entrusted us all with the future. As the Founders did, looking back is not an option. So that was enough seeing. The sound of that music, it's really something else. I don't think anyone here will forget this day as long as they live. The Fallen never got to win their battles, but maybe now they can get some rest. Yeah, finally. Speaking of, 
You ought to get some rest too. You're gonna be pretty busy from now on. You said it, boss. Wait, wait, just how busy are we talking here? From now on, I'll be traveling with Noah's crew. Huh? But then who's gonna handle things in the city? You'll be here, won't you, Travis? <sighs> like father, like daughter, eh? Dad spent his life on the front line, and I want to carry on that tradition. I understood that when I heard the Offseer's play. It has to be me. I have to carry on his legacy, fulfill his hopes. I'll fight for you now. Call on me anytime you need my help. Thank you. That's truly heartening. I hope we'll get to know each other outside of battle, too. There's so much I'd like to ask you about yourself, the city. No worries. A word of warning, guys. The boss's stories are long. If you've got time to rip on the boss, I might just assign you some more duties, Travis. Oh. Well, at least I won't have to worry about the city while I'm gone. Just holler if you need me. We'll take you up on that. And with that, we complete the hero quest of Vandom's heir, the bereaved witness to the off-seeing ceremony and thank the party for everything they've done. Monica will lend you her help from now on. The battle for the future is here, and we're on the front line. The lost vanguard Monica has joined, and her inheritor is Uni for some reason. Probably because... Uni is just uh, there, I guess. She is the default, de facto, go-to person to inherit all defensive arts and people's positions. Classes, that's the word. She got Ashira's, she's getting Monica's. That's about it, but a two for two is probably... And don't, don't look at Grey, that's not important right now. Monica's class, the Lost Vanguard, a defender, protects allies by deploying fields, specializes in countering enemy attacks, and can deal damage while guarding. It's a very interesting skill set, shall we say. Hold on a minute. What? Ah, oh, paying your respects, of course. That is perfectly fair. Well, uh, Fiona did not last very long at all, but that's perfectly fine, because we've got another Defender that we will cover maybe in the next episode, because we're going to end it here. A bit of a shorter episode today, shock of all shocks. We probably could fit in one more side quest, but I feel like this is a decent enough place to stop for today. I have no idea how long this episode is going to be based on how much stuff needs to be removed, but we will worry about that in the future. Either way, it might be a might be a bit of a treat to have a shorter episode. Not a lot to catch up on if that's how you're watching these videos. I have no idea. But in the next episode, we're probably going to be continuing the main quest. Probably. Maybe. We shall see. Unlike that treasure chest off in the distance, we won't be seeing that, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> maybe if we're feeling extra lucky. Either way, I'm ending this here and now right here right now we're ending the episode so whether you watched for 30 seconds or the entire thing thank you so much for tuning in and i will see you next time where we deal with the main quest later